I usually play retro games on PC but this video is about how to play retro games on Android for those of you who are lazy to turn on your PC or an emulator. In other words, this video is about how to play NES games on Android for free in 2023 and beyond. No BS. Let's start. Again, this will require internet connection to download some files only the first time and once you complete these steps you can play all the NES. SNES or any retro game completely offline. Here is how we do it. After you are connected to the internet, first of all you need to open your browser and open a search engine like DuckDuckGo. Use Google if it's restricted in your country, it will work. Then you need to search for RetroArc and visit this website. Alright, once you are into this website, it says detected operating system is Android. You need to click on download stable. Once you have done that, you need to save the apk file to download and wait for it to complete. I'll pause this here and come back when it's complete on my end. Once the download is complete, pull down the notifications and click on retroarc.apk. You need to select a program that installs apk packages on your system. I'll go with package installer. And now it says for security reasons your phone currently isn't allowed to install unknown apps from this source. This is not coming from RetroArc but this is coming from your browser. You need to go to settings, enable allow from this source, check the box that says I'm aware of the potential risk, wait for 10 seconds and click on OK. Once you have done that, you can install RetroArc. Once the installation is complete, Google Play Protect might scan it for security risks if turned on. You need to just wait for it to complete. Once the scanning is done, open it. Tap on OK to grant access to read external storage. Also grant these files permission to RetroArc. Alright, make sure that your internet is turned on and we are on the main menu of RetroArc. You might want to wait until some background processes are complete to set up retro art. I just changed my screen orientation to landscape so that it becomes more wider for you to observe it. We're in the main menu and we're going to online updater and then core downloader. Make sure that your internet is turned on and it's gonna fetch some core list. You gonna might have to wait depending upon your internet speed. Scroll down and search for Nintendo NES slash Famicom Mason, then tap on it. It's gonna download the NES emulator. It says core installed Nintendo Famicom Mason. Go back and scroll down to update core info files and tap on it. Uh, this is going to update all these particular things listed on your screen. Make sure you only do one item at a time depending upon your hardware uh, slow RAM might cause some issues but it's okay if you do multiple downloads at the same time but it's important that you do at least these updates at the beginning uh, of RetroArch setup
once we have done that we're gonna go to the playlist tab by clicking on the three horizontal lines on the right hand sidebar tap on import content scan directory select content directory tap on slash storage slash emulated slash zero this is your internal memory of Android. Uh, your retro arc system files are separate from your Android system files. By the way, you can also have to download the ROM of the game that you are trying to play. Or at least you must have a copy of it already stored in your folder. In one of your folder. I'm not gonna show you how you're gonna download it from the internet. Cause you must have the license. I'm not gonna show things that are morally not so okay what i'm li literally doing right now is i've already owned a game i'm locating the folder where i have stored game i'm gonna scroll down to roms nes and scan this directory and then i'm gonna set the default score as nes mission i'm gonna enable scan inside archives and I'm gonna go down and start a scan and wait for it to complete which is already done super quick already and then I'm gonna go back to the playlist menu scroll down and tap on the NES option and here I have my game already loaded in the emulator and then I'm gonna tap on the game and I'm gonna select run and this is gonna launch my game and here we have different controls on the screen i can play the game using the controls that are displayed on my screen they are also known as overlays and they are simply the same as a uh, physical controller but displayed virtually on our screen uh, what we might want to do next is slightly change the graphics so that it looks our game looks better we're gonna scale this and this is gonna happen with the help of shader i'm gonna pause the game and launch the retro arc menu by tapping on this icon i'm gonna scroll down to shaders and enable the video shaders then i'm gonna tap on load to load the variety of inbuilt RetroArc shaders for the game. I'm gonna go for shaders GLSL. You can also select shaders slang, but I'm selecting GLSL because that's in my default video drivers settings. And you can also select slang, but you might have to change the, the emulator settings and drivers. We're not gonna go into that far. For most users, the default settings are okay. We don't need to change any of the audio or video settings. Uh, the shaders are just for a little bit tweak in the pixels, you know, making it a lot more bigger or something like that. So I'm gonna go for shaders GLSL. I'm gonna scroll down and go for scale NX. Uh, this is my favorite shader, scale3x.glslp Overall, let's take the output now As you can see, Spidey looks a lot better now uh, This is basically how you play NES games on Android in 2023 and beyond So long everybody